The benefit of core blood donation is that it helps create this repository of material that can be used for the benefit of lots of different people in the future. Together with Bloodworks Northwest, UW Medical Center Montlake is collecting donations of umbilical cord blood. It's the only public blood bank of its kind in the Pacific Northwest and transforms what's often medical waste into opportunities for others. The core blood donation happens after the delivery of the infant and with research continuing as it is and you know every year we're finding more and more uses for cord blood so it's just a nice way to contribute to the greater good. Families who've chosen to donate have already saved lives. May 26, 2016, um, she told me I had MDS. It was aggressive form, um, 18 to 24 months to live without treatment, and that we needed to start chemo right away. Alexis Harris will never forget the day she received terrifying news. She'd been struggling for more than a year with a mystery illness, which started with symptoms similar to asthma. Suddenly, treatment called for a stem cell transplant. I knew people of color, particularly people of mixed race ancestry like myself, black, white, and Filipino, it was going to be really hard. We were told I had two people who might be matches on the bone marrow registry, but they both declined to move forward. So that um, feeling was horrible. Just, you know, feeling like I, you know, I might not live. My kids were five and eight, um, you know, needing a stranger to save my life was very, very scary. It's just harder for people in various uh, BIPOC communities to be able to get matched tissue for transplant so that they don't have transplant reactions, et cetera. And cord blood can then be used sometimes in lieu of matched material. Short on options, Harris's care team pitched a cord blood transplant as a last ditch move. My transplant was a month later, September 21st, 2016. Two different babies uh, were potentially going to save my life. Um, and I had a girl uh, bag donor and a young boy donor. And the girl baby took and grafted in 17 days, which was a lot faster than um, some had anticipated. In 17 days, she began to save my life. The science said it wasn't a perfect fit, but it was the right fit for Harris, who's now happy and healthy watching her own kids grow. The girl was a mismatch. She was a different um, blood type, but with umbilical cord blood, it doesn't have to be as matched as donors, and that's why it's a life-saving opportunity, particularly for people with um, mixed race ancestry. I think it's important for parents who are considering just to know that it has zero negative impact at all on what is happening to them. A mom made that decision and save my life. And I am forever grateful to not just that mom, but every single mom that has made the decision to donate, to be so selfless, right? And to, again, start the first day of their child's life as them being a real superhero.